So it's on the aftermarket ECU. Okay. It's called Holly EFI. Um, the only issue I have is that uh, it's a piggyback system. A lot of the so I had to trick the factory ECU to think that the factory stuff is still there. Yeah. That includes the throttle body. Okay. Um, so when we do the top speed pull, it's gonna say engine reduced power. Okay. Because the wheels are going too fast, the throttle body is going idle. Yeah. So I just have to kick this check mark and back. back. It doesn't affect the engine. Okay. It just throws you a dash light. Yeah. So. Or I can remove the factory throttle body and then, but I don't want to remove traction control because it would remove traction okay, control. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, he can't go to the car wash because he's afraid of he's afraid of the police. Okay. We can wait for here. We're just gonna go for a quick spin and we'll be okay. we'll back. Yeah, you got. We'll, we'll wait for you. All right. Amazing that you were able to get everything working like this. <laughs> yeah, it took. A, I mean, it doesn't it didn't take a lot of time per se. Where's my phone? Uh, it's. I, lo I love the fact that it's not super loud. You oh, know. This one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, not giving away anything. No. No, it's pretty oh. subtle. Yeah. So I managed like uh, the fitness centers, you know, where people okay, work okay. out, and I managed uh, what people eat and what people sleep. Okay. So a lot of different areas, I like hospitality management. Yeah. I could like feel it through the floor. Yeah, it's up there quick and <laughs> does hit the limiter. <laughs> so you see, once you get on the boost, it does wake up a little bit. Yeah, 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 definitely. So if you notice, the methanol controller is in there, but if you notice, here when I'm going to get on the boost, it'll turn red and green. That's, that's when it triggers the methanol. Okay. This is 130, so I'm not gonna go too fast, but. Yeah. by gear and yeah. it some, does a decent job sometimes you know but when you lay the power down down low it really doesn't yeah. <laughs> man I never thought it would be like this yeah. this is not how I imagined this car you I, thought it was American <laughs> <laughs> it would be like exactly. a dragster or... yeah. yeah yeah it's not too bad I mean we did that 800 horsepower Mustang and it was like it was so loud that like after an hour of driving you would Speaking just get out because of the sound. So we've had a lot of nice cars in the area, um, but you know, this car I, I built in my garage. Yeah, that's on, amazing. On the jack stands. I love that. Um, there's not really many companies you can go to here to build you something like this. Have you been here for that long? Since I was okay. in England since 2011. Okay. And back then I only had like an intake pulley and a two. The car was fun. When I got here, I had an aftermarket supercharger. Okay. And uh, increased, you know, power maybe 800. And I, I left for a while. I had that for one year. And I, it came, it came. Uh, one of my friends called me and said, "Hey, they're making these turbo kits. Are you interested?" And I was like, "Maybe." <laughs> and then uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, say, "Okay, okay, let's do it." Didn't realize what I was getting myself into. Yeah. Then once I was like, you know, a few thousand dollars in, I was like, "Oh, I'm already here." Yeah. But I, I've never looked back. I mean, it is, it's quite something you built. So, uh, no, the only thing I didn't build was the transmission. Um, there's a company that built it, but I broke a few of them. Okay. The last time I broke it was in uh, April. April. Last weekend of April, this year? This year, okay. Yes. So, I was like, oh crap. 
so I took it apart. I looked at it myself. I was like, if I can build the engine, why not the transmission? So I looked at it and um, I put it back together for $200. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fifth gear was shredded, um, the counter shaft and the main shaft, so I cleaned it up and uh, that was the only thing that was wrong with it. So um, back in a week, put together. That was in uh, half a mile here. And it's, it did 292 with the broken transmission. Okay. One angry car. So you didn't want to get rid of the throttle body because of traction control, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> I'm not sure it's working. <laughs> Once it gets on the boost, it gets happy. Man. <laughs> Ever let you do a run on the airstrip or? Uh, no. It's an active airstrip. They use it all the time. Yeah. It's 24, 24/7. Ah, okay. So, in the states they do some events, but here the airstrip is so busy supporting operations in Europe. Yeah. That there's there's no discussion about let's race on the airstrip. But we have the autobahn. But it's a big strip, right? Yeah, I think it's close to three miles. Yeah. Um, which is like five. Wow, that yeah, five is kilometers. really, yeah. really. Yeah, big. this is for the big, uh, for the, the biggest, big cargo. The, uh, the biggest air aircrafts come yeah. there, you know. So you can have the Antonov here if you if you could. Yeah. Is it the biggest U.S. base in Germany? Yes. Yeah. Overseas. I think it's the big. Yeah. In outside of the continental yeah. United States. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. So you you just missed the the, the installation was there, <coughs> but we have a lot of satellite locations we have one right here uh, you won't see it but it's back there and there's another installation and there's many over there like five kilometers there's so many and that's the main air hub so this is where we always meet there's nobody here right now but there's always some kind of car meet here everybody meets there has a good time watches their car it's nice. kind of where the local community meets yeah. and tries not to get in trouble <laughs> Have you had trouble with this one? Nope. Not once. The bull's eye has stopped me. You know, it just doesn't doesn't call for attention. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of the guys are like GTRs and, you know, M4s. You know, they, they will get attention, but this, a lot, most of the times they don't know what it is. So. Yeah. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't look that extreme, so. No. I would definitely completely underestimate this car. Yeah. I would think my M3 can beat this easily. But the clutch holds the power well. That's the one thing that's been reliable about this car. Yeah. The clutch and the engine too, for the most part. I don't think any of our friends are here, so we're just gonna keep going. We'll go back to the gas station. But the turbos are just your generic precision turbos, 62 millimeter. They're not ball bearing, they're journal bearing turbos. Um, I didn't go ball bearing because there was no really necessity to go so much more expensive yeah. to gain 100 RPM. Okay. It has big displacement car, it'll spin the turbos yeah. well enough. You know? If a smaller car, a smaller engine, they could use that, you know, that uh, additional uh, efficiency from the ball bearing turbos. I try to, I try to compare it to something we've driven, but it's like, it sounds and feels like nothing else we've done. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so strange. Yeah, if you want to try it to see how it feels driving, nah, I'm good. Feel, I'm feel good. Great. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, I don't want to break anything, I don't want to no, crash okay. it, and I don't want to die, so... Uh, but I am enjoying myself yeah. sitting right here. 
<laughs> How's the space back there? Is it okay? Yeah, it's really nice. It's uh, it's not anything special. It's old technology, you know, as far as infotainment. It's from 2008, 2009. Yeah. I've had the car since 2010. Uh, so I've had it for 12 years yeah. now. And uh, it just hit 100,000 miles. So, you know, between it being down for rebuilds or or take or me being gone on on work duty yeah. i would say close to ten thousand miles eight thousand miles a year so i drive it yeah uh, in the back i have my it's not golf clubs it's baseball gear because like, that's where i came from playing okay. yeah yeah from work and playing so here in france you can drive 35 minutes and you can purchase ethanol for 75 euro cents a liter okay so and in germany in Germany, you cannot buy any more on the pump. Okay. In France, you can buy on the pump. Oh, you can. the gas station. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's, it's 35 minutes that direction. Okay. So, I go and I fill up a few jugs and yeah. it's, it's the only logical uh, explanation to run. Yeah. You know, when easy power. Yeah. What kind of suspension are you running? Uh, KW, V3s. Okay. Uh, the factory suspension works very good, too. It's uh, electromagnetic. Magnetic ride, yeah. But once the shocks, you know, over the age, started leaking, so I replaced with KWs. Okay. It was actually about the same cost, so it feels really good. Yeah, they're they're the factory, the regular setting. I have not messed with the settings. That was uh, that was my goal building yeah. the car was to 
build something that I can take to work and keep the kids. So you, normally when you when you start having kids, you have a choice to make, right? Family or cars? Why not both? Yeah. Right. So so I had to learn how to do things myself. So you know, you save money, save time. This car is a lot of things have to go to the states and back. Yeah. So if you learn how to do it yourself, you can save that time. Yeah. And you save the money. Anybody can do things, but for the, for the right price, right? So overseas, getting this car worked on is much more expensive than any car in the area, you yeah. know, most cars. Yeah. You start getting into exotics prices. Yeah. Um, but yeah, factory supercharger, aftermarket supercharger, and turbo. And I think I'm staying here. Down the rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah. But I've had this set up since 2016. Okay. So I've had it for a long time. Now. Yeah, that, that's pretty durable. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that's changed really is the transmission. Yeah. The power levels have been similar. Okay. Yeah. So. And you always ran it with ethanol. I, I can, well, before I saw you today, that's why it's only an E60, because I had regular fuel in it. Okay. So when I threw ethanol, it was only E60. Yeah. Um, and uh, because the gas tank was not empty. Okay, yeah. So it's flex fuel. You can, any percentage, the computer will adjust yeah, yeah, and it yeah, drives yeah. like this. Too. That's amazing. Yeah. The only, the benefit from ethanol too is that it smells good. It smells sweet. When, you didn't smell it here because I have the, the, the AC to the cabin only. But when you get in the back and you smell the fuel, it'll smell sweet, ethanol. Nice. Gasoline smells like gasoline. Yeah. Sorry. Definitely got some juices flowing there. <laughs> What's the most powerful rear-wheel drive car we've had on our channel? Let me check the list. I think the, the top ones are all four-wheel drive. Yeah, I think so. I think that E63 from GAD. 920. 920, yeah. Oh, that's a long way off. I think this car does a good job for the power mm -hmm. all the traction. Yeah, I, I have to say, it, it was pretty, I mean, you can feel it. Sometimes even when it does lose traction, it's, it's manageable to me. Yeah, it still goes straight, yep. basically, yeah. Drag radials, even much different too. <laughs> it will, <laughs> you can put more power down earlier. Yeah. So if you feel that, you know, I'm gonna park here in the cool. Yeah. Man, thanks. Absolutely. That was fun. So, Max just got a phone call. What happened? He blew it up after his pull. Apparently, he blew it up. Uh, he, he, he blew his engine once and his transmission twice. But other than that, for the past six years, he's been running it in this crazy twin turbo setup and he hasn't had that much problems with it so that many problems with it so it is the curse of the camera once again when you switch on the camera all hell breaks loose all bets are off okay let's go find them at least we have the strongest car in the back what I happened I so I was going really fast yeah I think I hit the limiter you know okay so when you go on that fast and you hit the limiter things happen yeah, I know. The camera's still working. <laughs> yeah, they were working at the time. Okay. So I didn't touch anything. Okay. So I want to know how fast we were going. Yeah. I'm more curious about that. So, but uh, but I leave now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. I call because, because when they see so much so much uh, cross here, the police will stop and, and, and they think you think you take you away. Here. Yeah, it's probably a turbo. Either, no, I don't think it's no, a turbo. You have more oil than that. I think it's uh, yeah. a piston, maybe yeah. melted. It's fine. Just clean it up. No pistons. Send it again. Been there before. And he rebuilt this car so many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I had the parts, I'd probably be running in two days. Yeah. You think we could drag this? You think we could mm -hmm. drag this down the hill? Because the those, the launch tool spots down the hill. Man. No, I'd rather. You'd rather not. Here. I get you. I get you. Yeah. I'd rather just because wait for ADAC. Because if it keeps moving, it yeah. might it might further damage things. I already yeah. wait for ADAC. I yeah. already called them, so no problem. Yeah. So. Yeah, next next one is just because there was smoke, you know, from both sides. So it's not one turbo. We were back there, and I saw you exit here, 
but we kept straight. Did you see this? Smoke? And yes, and I thought you was lighting the tires up. I'm like, God damn, man, you fucking no, no, no. up. <laughs> I'm thinking you ain't getting no traction. <laughs> so, no, that's not And then tire. I saw you taking this exit, but we were already, I was going too fast. So I was like, oh shit. Well, I had to also, I turned off my lights just to make sure I could flash people. Yeah. And, uh, we gotta see the drag you on that. Just going to get all the evidence out of the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go to the other car. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you, man. Maybe. Take, take, text me. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe it wasn't a fast the last time. I think maybe 340, 350. Wow. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I I was driving fast and then I clicked the thing just to you know like I was able to like click buttons and stuff. Yeah. And then, all right, well, I hope the best. Yes, yes. You get it prepared pretty, pretty yeah. fast. Thank so you, yeah. You might see us again before you leave. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mach's gut, gell? Yeah. Vielleicht sieht man sich nochmal. Sie auch, ja. Gerne. All right. Bye. You'll see us. See you around. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just curious to see how fast we were going. That's okay. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later, man. You didn't see me. You know? And then when we caught up, like, well, halfway from here to Misa, we saw smoke. And I'm like, what is this smoke? I don't know. Shades of polarized. I thought it was tripping. I put my shades on. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's smoking pretty good. Then I could smell it through the car. And I was like, I've Jesus. That's GPS. 349, 349 GPS. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, man. I take a Jeez. picture of that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What happened, man? Um, I think I hurt the engine, but the car did some good time. Bro, yo! <laughs> That's... Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Worth it! <laughs> Hold up. You got... You got a so picture? Yeah, I got a video for you. Too. I got to see that. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that was the limiter. That's why... 349! Holy... Too long in the limiter. I got to take a picture okay, of that. That, that's the highest speed we've ever recorded. GPS. Yeah. yeah. 349 kilometers an hour GPS and it was, on the Autobahn. It was right there. It wasn't long, you know? So. No, we. Oh. That's not that. I'm a post. Long of a that's straight. going on Insta. That's quite impressive. And I was going soft. I wasn't going too hard. So my two to 250, I don't know how much that was. Too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You did oh, two to 250 in 3.44. Yeah, I think I could do in like three. That four, is three point two. If I, I mean, you, you started at one hundred. That deserves a video. That deserves a video in itself. Yeah. Yeah, he blew up. So but hey, two hundred to three hundred. Exactly. Ten seconds. But everything it's worked. The cameras the did die from the heat. Yeah. I forgot to tell you. You had to blast the AC until you. Okay. But uh, they worked. Yeah. And, That's uh, good. They captured. The <laughs> they worked for eighteen minutes, and then the first one died. Okay. I told you twenty minutes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad it worked. But man, this is fucked. Yeah, so don't worry too much about me. I'm gonna go home. It's not this weekend. Shit, not next weekend. You're going back to the US? Yeah, but I'll take the engine out soon. Okay. That 200 Hello? to 250, 3.4 seconds. Yeah, Whoa. What was the 100 to 200? We started at yes, one yeah. Oh, so hey, fuck it. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Tire soft, I wonder if it's That's nice. What's up? Now it's 18 plus. 349, that's... It, it doesn't feel that fast until you see the car in front. Yeah. yeah. And they're not moving. Yeah. And you're flashing, and you're flashing, 
and they're just probably like this. Yeah. It did, I came into a vehicle, and I, I ended up stopping, but then he then he moved. He did not see me. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad I I had engine problems because if I didn't, I would have probably kept going a little longer. Bye. Bye, Manny. All right, take it easy. So. Yeah, he's going to get the engine out and then um, see what's what and then hopefully he will be back before he heads back to the US in a few months. We have a 349 GPS run in a 1300 horsepower twin turbo CTSV. That is pretty insane. Bye guys.